Hey, hello, my friends. Hope everybody is well today. I am Paul Apolloni, and I'm going to show you what I sold on eBay. Again, hope everybody is well. And again, I want to, I know I've said over and over again, thank you so, so much to all the people who subscribed. Hit that magical 1,000 mark. Need to up the videos now, but uh, thanks so much. I really appreciate it, and sorry for delaying getting more content out to you guys. Been kind of sidetracked with some other things, good things, but some other things. So, but I'm back, and I'm going to show you about five or six things I sold on eBay. I'm trying to keep these videos shorter than what I than what they used to be. I know your time's important. I want to respect that too, and I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this and be a part of my channel. Uh, I've gotten a lot of my things. I yeah, I get a lot of my things through consignment. Uh, also, tell everybody and anybody what you're doing. I get a ton of my stuff for free. Um, I think I made three or four videos on that alone of things I got that people have given me. Not just little rinky-dink tchotchke stuff. Some very high-end stuff worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, and I also part out items, part out appliances. There's a... Um, of course, I have in the description below, there's lots of stuff down there. Much, A lot of that stuff is affiliate links, just letting you guys know. I get a very little percentage of the stuff, of the amount that you're uh, seeing on there. So, um, appreciate all you guys uh, being part of uh, that. I have no idea what that notification was. Something from my Chromebook. Okay, so I'm back. Um, but everything's good here, so let me show you... Uh, couple things I sold, five or six things. I'm going to tell you uh, where I got them, hopefully what I made from them, um, and stuff like that. Oops, that's the last item. All right, so I got this item from a consignment person uh, that has since uh, I've ended the um, – we ended on a good note. I did the work. I sold a lot of things for him. Uh, he was a guy, if you've been following my channel for a while, like last year, year before, I sold a lot of those old trucks. Um, I forget the name of the trucks they were. There were some kind of uh, toy trucks. They, they were red. There was a big airplane I sold, big aluminum airplane for a couple hundred bucks. We did good. He was happy, um, and, and, and we just moved on. He moved to – it was an older gentleman. He moved into an apartment while he was waiting for his house to be built in some other town. I forget. And um, he didn't have much stuff left anymore, to be honest with you. I, I tried selling some of his stuff. One of these things is he gave me a ton of these baskets. Probably should have bundled all these baskets together, but I did not, and I still have the three or four four or five of them still listed. And I still just should bundle those together. So I'm that time did sell this. This was a large basket. It had to go into a, I got a Lowe's home improvement, small box. What size is that? 16 by 12 by, I don't know, 16 boxes fit perfectly. And there was heavy duty box. I didn't put any packing material in there. It was kind of weird. Like the box was meant for the item. If you've, if you've ever experienced that, it's pretty cool. Um, Put it in there, shipped it out, um, and I don't think it was under eight ninety nine. dollars um, I'm pretty good at guesstimating my shipping. Uh, a lot of people do calculated. Sometimes I do calculate. It all depends. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Um, dishwasher racks, I do calculate because I know exactly what size they are, kind of what the weight is. I may add another pound or two in there. But most of the things I just do um, – Flat rate, uh, what if I, what if the buyer pays less for shipping or what if the shipping is less than what is there, $8.99? I do not refund them. I keep whatever the difference is. Um, what if it's over? Uh, I suck it up. Uh, it is it over sometimes? Yeah, sometimes I make a mistake, but then I just consider it all the, the money I made before. What if it's drastically under? Sometimes I give the buyer some something back. Um, what if the buyer wants the difference? Like, like they say, ooh, that's really hard for shipping. Can you help me out? Um, yeah, I will at times. Um, kind of like that's the price of what you see. We don't have problems paying that when we see something on TV or other venues. Um, real quick, uh, all this uh, is based on uh, – 
what I know as far as the title, uh, Google search friendly and eBay friendly. Don't forget search friendly. Uh, eBay uploads all their listings up to Google. Uh, your first picture should be a white background. They're debating that right now. Now they're saying that's not to be a white background anymore. I don't know. Whatever. I just followed what, what I remember. Um, all pictures are done on my Samsung uh, 22 Ultra or something phone. <laughs> Uh, I do my listings via my phone and my Chromebook. I find a cell similar on my phone, take the pictures, upload them to the listing, and run over to my Chromebook and finish the listing there. I always use a condition description whenever I'm selling something not new, um, letting the person know more pertinent information, like if it's something that's broken or there's an issue with it, I always put that in there first. Don't forget uh, economy shipping. I pick economy shipping. That gives me every option eBay offers, post office, FedEx, and UPS, and every option that the carriers offer. If I were to pick post uh, USP, what post office priority, I technically would have to ship it priority if it was more. Um, if not, eBay may not back me up if there's a problem in shipping. So this way it gives me all the options. The only issue with this is when the buyer sees this, it will state maybe like a nine to 12 day delivery time, but 97% of the time I'm shipping it out some priority service, either post office, FedEx, or UPS. Uh, item specifics are very important. Oh my gosh, look at all these item specifics. You must have spent a ton of time doing this. I may have. I probably may have spent 15 minutes doing this listing. Five, 10 minutes is usually the max time I spent on a listing. Sometimes I spend more time. It all comes out in the wash in the end is what, how I look at it. Uh, so it was out there for a while, October 21. I think I sold this last month. Item specifics are very important. These play a key role when you're doing searches on eBay on the left-hand screen with your sizes and whatever. Only put in specifics that pertain to your item. I think I found the cell similar and these specific, specifics bleh, were in there already. Uh, my description is short and sweet, basically a copy and paste of the uh, condition description with the title. Uh, oop, going scrolling back and forth here. Uh, got a new computer the other day. I'm really loving another Chromebook. 16 inch screen. It's nice. And this is the camera off the Chromebook, which is pretty good. Uh, this is Global Shipping Program, GSP, uh, eBay's version of international shipping. Uh, e eBay used to have global shipping and then their version of international shipping, then post office international shipping or whatever. Now eBay has combined it, from what I heard, combined it all into a global shipping program. Um, different flavors of global shipping. Basically how it works is no matter what you use, you're going to ship it to the closest eBay, closest global shipping program, GSP site to you. Mine's Kentucky. If I sell something to an, in another country, all I got to do is ship the box to Kentucky. All comes out on eBay. There's no fancy, no running a post office, filling out paperwork and whatever. Um, once they get it, they will open it up, check it, make sure it's in there, make sure it's packed properly, and they will send it off. If there's a problem, if, if I mean, if it gets lost, stolen, or broken after they've sent it off, you get refunded. The buyer gets refunded. Gets shipped pretty quickly. I don't know how they're doing it, but but it gets out there pretty quickly. Could I make more money doing it on my own, going to the post office and doing international shipping? Probably. Um, I haven't done it in years and years and years. When I used to do it, it was a pain in the neck. I like it. This this program, GSP, a lot of people have not a lot. Some people have issues with it saying buyers get charged more in taxes, whatever. Um, I don't have a problem with it. it. It's simple and easy. My return policy is 30 days. What did I make on this item? Well, since it was after, he said, keep everything, whatever you have, keep it. Um, so I made all of that. So I made probably $22, maybe $21. Took a while to sell. I charge a 50-50 split on consignment items, no matter what the item costs. I used to have a tiered system, 50-50 to the first hundred, then blah, blah, blah. But I, I looked at my records and I looked at my time, what I was spending on stuff. And I was spending a lot more time on stuff over $100 than I was on stuff under $100. So I just changed it 50-50. If it's a certain, like, I've got a gentleman I just talked to Tuesday, wants to sell a very high-end couch. And, yes, the couches do sell on eBay. I'm going to put it under there as local pickup or freight or whatever. I'll figure it out. And the person will be responsible for shipping it. 
Um, so, uh, but I'm, I'm just doing 50, 50 split. Okay. This item here again, tell everybody what you're doing. My neighbor had this long story, this McLean real mower that his guy that put down sod on his lawn gave him. Um, I tried getting it running the engine. I used to do small engine repair back in the day. Couldn't get the engine running right. And I got to sell that engine. I keep on forgetting. So I just parted it out. It took me a while to part this thing out because some of the bolts were rusted. And some of the parts I couldn't get off. Like I sold the big reel part. I think I showed you guys that in a previous video with the piece still on it because I couldn't get it off. Whatever. Uh, just cost me more shipping, but I was fine. But um, had these up. This was the last or the second. No, I just sold the wheels the other day, a couple, about two weeks ago. The other wheels, little set wheels for the reels. Um this guy wanted to pay me less, which was fine. I think he said $70 with shipping, with, with including shipping. I'm sure went down to South Carolina, I think. I did really well. These were really, really, really heavy for wheels. It's not just like a single wheel. Let me show you. It's like, it's like somebody had, here, let me show you. Like, if you guys are interested. It's like somebody took like three lawnmower wheels and glued them together. Here's one, two, three. And they're metal. The, the the rings the um the rims are metal and they're just heavy but i think it went out ups i know for a fact it went under 23.99 um he was happy he got them real quick he was thrilled left me great feedback uh so i did really well i probably made about 65 dollars on this item here alone again free um, it took me time to part it out. I probably spent two hours parting all this out, but I made probably about two two fifty total in my pocket from the parts I sold. Uh, I made a video on these bullfrog um, spa jet packs, and I'll just real quickly show you these two. These are the last two that I had. Um, the gentleman wanted to offer me $200 for the two of them, shipping included. I was dilly-dallying around with that for a while. I said, just give me some time to think about it. He goes, that's fine. Um, 200 bucks, no questions asked. If they work, they work. If they don't, they don't. He was willing to take the risk. I went, hmm, let me think about it again. Um, he had one. Um, it seemed like every one of these I sold went to the northeast of the country, Washington, North Dakota, all that other up in that area, which I made money on shipping on all of them. Uh, it, it was weird. They all came in at about $46, $44 shipping. So this guy wanted these two. I finally contacted him. I said, okay, fine, whatever. Um, I was able to squeeze them both into a, uh, into two, two or three, two low, so improvement, small boxes, heavy duty boxes. I forget the size of them. Put some padding down on the bottom, some packing material I had. Put the one in, squeeze the other diagonal in there and squeeze that down. Put some packing material around there and then more. And then telescope the other box on top, put, taped it, put more tape around the sides to keep the two boxes together. They shipped out at $52 or $55. Now, I've already made my money. This is, oh, sorry. This is, these packs if you didn't watch the video i got them from craigslist guy was had a um a spa and he was like just trying to get rid of it and went with the packs and i said well i got a good feeling about these i saw a few listed on ebay but they were old now i spent a lot of time researching these all five or six of these packs that i got but you gotta understand i made good money on every one there were ones i sold for 149 dollars plus this 44 nine dollars shipping one sold few two sold for 124 dollars plus the shipping one sold for 99 dollars plus the shipping so i made some decent money but it, it took a lot of research a lot of googling i mean a lot of deep deep research uh there were a few on ebay but not many um but everybody's been happy with these. He was more concerned. This guy was concerned about the hoses or the hose, hoses brittle or they, these hoses were so like strong and hard that, I mean, there's, they're wire reinforced. I don't think they were going anywhere. 
So we agreed on it. I shipped them out to him and I made 100 and 140, 100 and $130 on these two. Uh, oh, not that. That's not the pack on these two uh, jet packs. So that was really, really good. And these went out FedEx. These usually went out FedEx were the cheapest. Uh, UPS used to be the cheapest. Now all of a sudden FedEx comes in for getting things across the uh, other side of the country. I'm in North Carolina. From those, and I sell anything and everything just about, what's the cheapest thing you will sell? If I can get it in and out really quick, um, list it, ship it out real quick, I'll make a couple of bucks. I'm totally fine with that. Uh, this was, uh, I just listed one of these just today from another dishwasher a neighbor gave me that I saw him loading it in his, into his truck last week. And I went, what are you going to do with that dishwasher? He went, huh? <laughs> like they all do. What? You, you want this dishwasher? I said, yeah, sure. What's wrong with you? It's always oh, leaking. I went, oh, so the control board is probably good. I thought to myself, um, and I grabbed it, brought it home, parted it out in about an hour, and took it to the dump on the way to the golf the next day. So it was a quick parting out. Um, this item didn't make a whole lot of money on, but again, to take it apart, uh, I was parting out dishwasher anyway. You just um, unscrew this. Most of the time, you can take this out with your hand. If not, use a slip joint pliers or whatever and get it out, and it comes right out, and you pop it out. Um, probably made about – this went out first class – Remember, before I forget, first class post office. If you go to the post office, first class goes up to 13 ounces. At least this was the way it was a couple weeks ago. That same package through eBay, first class goes up to one pound, which is great. Make sure your post office understands that. I went to a, the post office just a long time ago. I told the story several times uh, that I thought they knew that to, in the shoot. I don't wait for things to be scanned or whatever. Do what you want to do is wait. Don't wait. I'm not doing right or wrong. I don't have time to, to wait in long lines to get stuff scanned. Threw it to shoot. Uh, went out the next morning, came back, and they were all sitting on my front step like, what the heck? And they all had written overweight. I was like, what? So I relabeled them. I just printed the labels out again and brought them to my post office, and they were fine. So I made probably – nine dollars on this but again it was a quick parting out uh one thing one tip about parting out things just watch your time either set a timer on your phone or whatever old time clock or whatever you don't want to um, it, i don't know what your financial situation is so to spend five hours on something and making 200 bucks maybe a lot of money to a lot of people i don't i'm not judging anything but just watch your time you don't want to spend um like hours and and it's very easy to get to get sidetracked with parting out something like oh wait a minute if i just wait a minute i can i can get that part that i know i can get seven dollars for if i just take this off if i just take that off before you know it, you're spending an hour so just uh, be careful and uh watch your uh watch your time all right my friends hope you enjoyed this video i really appreciate every single one of you guys and gals for subscribing thank you again and look forward to seeing you in the next video. You guys have a great day. I'll see you now. Bye-bye.